Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading. These are general readings. We take what works, we leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And if I don't catch a wavelength or storyline on this reading, check your other major placements. Um, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. That's wonderful, makes me happy, and helps other people find the channel. We're starting off with um, Oracle Cards, Moonology, and my new Oracle deck, Urban Pro Oracle, by MJ Colinane. Uh, Seattle based artists and these messages are beautiful and amazing and um, multi-layered. I don't know what to do with this. What, what would you do with this? Is this trying to give me these three cards or we'll take them. We'll take them. All right. Not, you know what? This deck this week has not produced the cheeriest cards I've ever seen. I'll say that. A lot of tough energies. Tough energies. Oh, we got South Node. Moonology, don't let your past hold you back. Just because you've always done it that way, you don't have to keep doing it that way. Capricorn just got North Node. Now, this is really, to me, this is really cool work in astrology. So go check out, you know, your South Node, North Node stuff. Um, what's going on there? These are about your life lessons, things you're, things you're learning, the ways that you need to change, the ways that you're going to grow over life um, and, and ways in which uh, you can better thrive by changing, you know, how you've dealt with something. So just because you've always dealt with something that way doesn't mean you need to keep doing it that way, okay? So we also have balancing spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces, balancing responsibility with dreams, balancing meditation with thinking things through, balancing spirituality and practicality in order to, you know, uh, bring something to full fruition. So there's got, there's some sort of element that you're working with that's, uh, it's got to be workable. And, um, Maybe, maybe you're growing spiritually, but it also has to have an applicable an application in your life. You also have to embody that. You can't just, I mean, you can, you can totally do whatever you want, but you can't just like, um, you could, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me think of a new way of saying that. You can just read about spirituality without ever practically applying it. You can just read about certain principles or your south node, uh, whatever, um, without ever applying it. That's, you can do that. Or you can just like keep powering through things without ever really um, growing or, or developing a spiritual practice. But if you're here, I highly doubt that's the case. That's your, your mode. Um, so spirituality and practicality. So you may be seeing some, some way that you need to change how you've dealt with something from the past. You may can, maybe can see that, but it needs a little bit more practical application. You can't just see it and acknowledge it. You got to, you got to also, also do it. This is like a, an apology that's not backed up by changed behavior. Like, I'm sorry I did that. I will continue to do that. I mean, that is true, right? We can't change like that. But you can say, you know, I'm sorry I did that and I want to work on it and I will. And then you have to literally start working on it. You can't just say, I would like to work on it, but I'm actually not going to put any effort into it. It's too hard. So, I mean, you can say that, but I'll, I won't like it and I doubt anybody else will either. So, um, what do we have here with this crow deck? So some of this is pretty new to me. I mean, it's very new out. It's just a couple of weeks old. Um, we have isolation, distance, mischief, and territory. Interesting. There's like, so distance is about, this could be about getting an overview, getting the overall map, the overall understanding of the lay of the land, the territory here, um, getting in, uh, these birds are very territorial. So um, getting, but distance could be taking, it, to, it could be the distance of time, something that's far off in the future or far off in the past, uh, the distance of space, something that's really far away from you, or just getting distance, getting an overview, a lay of the land, understanding. So it's taking, uh, it's taking some time away or allowing the time away or allowing some sort of physical, temporal, or intellectual distance so that you can understand something, pulling back, seeing the forest, not the trees, getting the overview, the bigger picture, looking at the bigger picture here. Um, and then we have isolation. You may need to take some time out. This can be isolation by choice, um, isolate, isolating yourself so that you're not going along with the group, going along with the crowd, going along and doing things the way you've always done them, taking some time out to get your own perspective, to develop your own ideas, 
to, I mean, to get your own perspective, because this is all about, this distance is all about perspective, getting, getting a larger perspective, seeing the larger perspective. Um, and this isolation may be chosen, maybe not, but it's a, certainly an opportunity to develop your own perspective, how you, what you think about a situation, um, apart from others, apart from, so something more authentic, something more authentically you, and using or choosing isolation, a moment away from the crowd to check in with yourself, uh, to check in with your own path, and, and to, to connect with your authentic self, um, without the pressure of having to fit in, having to do something you know, the way you've always done it. Um, and then we have mischief and territory. These are, see, these are fascinating messages. I don't, I don't have a lot of other decks that have territory on it, in it. So mischief, here's the mischief card. They're poking at this, this poor little kitty cat. Uh, they're not going to really hurt them, but they are creating some problems. So you could be dealing with a situation right now that's not genuinely harmful, that's not genuinely threatening your survival, but is annoying and frustrating. Um, you could be part of a group that's creating some mischief or some issues. You know, sometimes uh, groups or like even church groups, you know, you can get even, especially. You can get this like group mentality, group thing going on, and they can whip themselves up over something that doesn't matter at all. It's not part of their belief system. It's just kind of amazing the the group think mob think that um, that can go on. So there could be you know, and maybe you need to separate yourself from that. Separate yourself and get some distance and perspective from what's going on with a group situation, because this does seem like a group situation creating this mischief. But let's read what M.J. Cullinan has to say. As John Marsleff points out in his book, crows and ravens have a penchant for pulling tails. Dog tails, cat tails, cow tails, and even other bird tails. If it has a tail, a crow will feel compelled to pull it. It appears that some may be doing this to distract the animal, but other times it is purely just to get a rise out of the other creature. Oh my gosh, I know people that do that. Just to get a rise, they just love watching other people. And you, I just cannot even believe that that's true, that there are people, but then you see them and you meet them and you're like, no. They do exist, people that just enjoy getting under other people's skin. Okay, uh, just to get a rise of the creature, mischief indicates an annoyance, nothing detrimental, just a situation that causes a bit of short-lived grief. So maybe the three of swords a little bit. You may be the target of someone's delinquency or bad behavior. This card also indicates that you need to add some innocent mischief or passion in your life. So I'm going to say, though, I'm getting this group and you need to maybe separate from a group or a situation, isolate yourself, get some distance, distance yourself from a situation that isn't healthy, isn't good, um, isn't about um, creating positive environment or a positive community, but a, a negative, difficult thing. Like I said, it doesn't, it's not affecting your survival. It's just really, it could be very hard to deal with. You could be participating in something and you need to separate yourself from that thing, or you could be experiencing that and maybe you need to take a break from whatever situation this is that is causing you this this grief and it seems to be like there's a little bit of other people like I'm not a fan of teasing I think there's two people in my life that have teased me and I liked it and other people I don't like teasing so this looks like teasing to me do not tease me um the trust that we have to have built up for me to enjoy being teased by someone is very rare Okay, territory. So crows are very territorial. Someone may be entering your space uninvited. Wow, with this mischief, it's like someone's kind of just like getting in your face, getting in your space, teasing you, frustrating you. This looks like some light bullying, bullying or light bullying. Or, you know, the person's intentions, who knows what they are. I know that when people try to tease me, um, I, I think they have good intentions, but that's exactly where the problem comes in. If I don't know 100% that you have good intentions with what you're saying, it's not teasing, it's bullying. Um, and uh, so there is some sort of situation that's really bothering you. Someone's in your space, someone's upsetting you. Maybe you are doing it, or maybe somebody else is doing it, but you need some distance. You need to separate yourself from the situation. Get some distance, get some perspective, um, that kind of thing. All right. 
All right, Aquarius, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, to-do list, possible outcome. Okay. So in your recent past, so this could be another storyline or supporting this, or they could combine. It's all going to be different for other people, but for everybody. So um, in your recent past, Wheel of Fortune, something kind of out of your control happened, possibly something that really wasn't, wasn't um, up to you. Um, this could be good luck. This can be bad luck. This is all the things in life that we don't have any control of. The inner workings of life, or I want to say the backstage of life, because this always looks like a stage curtain to me. Um, and, and here's the backstage of life. It's complicated. It's got its own rhyme and reason. We don't understand there is order in the chaos and chaos in the order. So, um, so something's going on here that, uh, unintended consequences, uh, something outside of your control, um, good luck, bad luck, some kind of issue has, has, uh, has emerged and, uh, you didn't really get much say in it. Uh, there are things we have say in and there are other things that we have no say in and they just kind of unfold because that's life and there's inner workings to life that we don't understand. And you think you're pulling down on this lever and, <laughs> This whole other thing you set off, it's, it's like a Rube Goldberg machine here in life. Like, all I did was drop a marble and now suddenly the cat's overfed. Um, so I don't really understand what's going on here. The things may be connected and may be interrelated in ways you can't see, or they may just, it feels so random to us. So there, there's a, been a switch up of luck. Something happened here that felt kind of random and strange to you. Um, and maybe it was. So in your, you're kind of stuck in a situation here. You have, this is our current situation, the hanged man. The mach, this, I love these coming together and they do come out together so often. The machinery of life, it's jammed. This zipper is jammed. It's not flowing. The zipper's a very mechanical, magical thing. And, but this uh, zipper in life is jammed and you're kind of stuck in a situation. So some sort of, I'm going to have to guess that this was some bad luck situation. Something just happened and you're kind of stuck and trapped in this situation. You've got to figure out a way out of it. You've got to think through, think it through, figure out a way out of it. It may not be your fault that you're trapped here, that you're stuck here, but you're sort of stuck in a, in a place of stasis. You're kind of stuck in a situation um, and you're having to think about how do you get out of the situation? How do you move forward? How did you get in the situation? You know, it looks like maybe you didn't do a whole lot or you can't perceive where you, how you got in the situation, but it is your job to get out of the situation now that you did not put yourself into. So you have been plumped and plopped into some sort of situation, some sort of issue. It's not moving on its own. It's not going to fix itself. It's, um, and you're kind of here for a period of time and you've got to figure out a way to unleash yourself and figure out a way to, to un get out of this situation, especially if it's a situation like this where someone's sort of in your territory um, and harassing you, uh, you know, just for fun, for sport, for pleasure, because they're sick bastards, that's all, that kind of thing. You've got to figure it out. You've got to figure out how you're going to deal with this and how you're going to get out of this situation that, that appears to be stuck and probably is stuck. You might have been here for a little while. You're kind of hanging out here. You don't know what to do, but you, it's up to you to figure it out. So your hope Page of Swords, some sort of clear communication, learning something, a stroke of insight, some sort of idea. The, the page is the learner. They're curious. They're learning. They're starting to understand a situation. You'd really like to understand a situation, at least mentally, at least intellectually. I'm getting this balancing spirituality and practicality. This is like practical information, I feel like, because I think we'd be wands if we were talking spiritual. So um, practical information, you'd like to understand something. You'd like to, you'd really like to understand maybe what's going on, maybe what makes this, this situation tick, what makes this, what is going on here? What's happening here? Why is this going on? Um, you'd like to understand something. You'd like to, uh, maybe you're curious about going back to school. This is our ultimate student. I mean, he's even got the mortar board up here. But our ultimate student, uh, the learning about intellectual things. So you'd like to um you're thinking about, or maybe you're worried about, oh my God, do I have to go back to school? Um, some kind of situation here where it's your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape. So it's something that you're hoping um, maybe to, to get a new beginning of, of learning, learning something new, understanding something, seeing something. Um, what's at issue here is this five of swords. 
in reverse, five of swords, five of pentacles in reverse. I've got accords and things. So this um, five of pentacles in reverse here, uh, this is um, coming out of a time of feeling pover impoverished, like you don't have enough, like you didn't have enough support. Um, being focused on uh, scarcity mentality, there's not enough. Um, being, feeling stuck in a place, and but you're coming out of it, you're leaving this place of um, they're just not having been enough, not having been enough support, not having been enough, um, a, a sense of poverty and scarcity and, um, and maybe even feeling very alone and isolated, um, feeling very alone and isolated here. Maybe truly having been, you know, poor and isolated and coming out of that and a, a mentality of scarcity, a mentality of, I mean, the fives are over on the left side of the um, Kabbalah tree. So it's, um, it's a, a place of limitation, a place of pain and suffering and the limitations of being human and the limitations of... Um, of yeah, this this life and this existence. This is a hard reading. There's a lot of hard stuff in it. Uh, I'm gonna order a new reading for Aquarius for this week. Thank you. Can you take this back to the kitchen, please? Um, so, but but if you're coming out of this, like, don't let it hold you back, right? So just because there's been poverty in the past, don't bring that mentality into your future. Don't recreate that in your future. Just because there's been loneliness and isolation. Uh, from the past, don't, it doesn't always have to be that way. So whatever's gone on back here um, that you're coming out of, that you're leaving behind, that you're healing from, um, a loneliness and isolation, whatever you're healing from here, and you may be stuck in the situation for a while and really wanting to get out of it, but um, it, is, it is healing. So you have to trust that and believe in that and make sure you're not bringing that into your future. In your environment, you have the star card, dreams coming true, wishes coming true. This is some sort of confirmation that you, from the universe that you're on the right path. You're right where you need to be. You are exactly where you need to be. Even though I really want to send this reading uh, back to the kitchen and make it come out right, we're still getting confirmation that we're exactly where you need to be. We, this is, this is you're, you're here, you're meant to be here. Uh, there's a light shining on you. There's something here. There's like a secret backbone. Um, there's something. Life is turning out towards your favor in your environment. That's what your environment. You're you're maybe still mentally stuck or or, or having this this issue with this mischief and this territorialness, um, and you're needing to get perspective because what the reality that surrounds you is the star card. Dreams coming true, and maybe the isolation you're experiencing. Maybe what you're experiencing is. A dream coming true, especially if you had to deal with this isolation. This cat just wants to be left alone. Guess what alone feels like after a while? Isolation. So the cat would like to be left alone, and maybe, maybe you know, that's where you're at, and that's what you need for now to to heal, because you are coming out of this Five of Pentacles place. So the Star card is here to tell you you're exactly where you need to be, even though it may not feel like it. Uh, or maybe this wheel of fortune is turning and, it, and you're getting exactly what you wanted, exactly what you wished for, but it doesn't feel very good right now, or it doesn't look very great right now. But you, the star card is like great things are happening, cool things are happening for you. Um, and maybe you're so focused on, on the lack and the mischief and all of that, that you're not getting the perspective about how great things, how cool some of the things in your life really are right now. So um, your to-do list, uh, what we're looking for, an opportunity to engage with is a new way of thinking about something. An epiphany, a new understanding, growth in the way we see things, growth in the way that we, um, that we interact with, with something, seeing something through a new way, clear thinking. Clear thinking about where we're actually at, not uh, where we're afraid we're at. Clear thinking about something, an epiphany, and understanding. So, um, and I like it because that's what we want. What do we want? We want a clear thinking. We want to understand something. We want some, some clear ideas, some clear understanding. Star cards here saying something in our environment is going to bring that in. And then here we are unlocking something, understanding something, getting clarity on something, maybe even clear communication on something. Um, maybe clear, clear, um, 
some sort of clear communication, clearly communicating something or being able to see something and, and uh, think about something in a new way that's very clear and, and unlocks some sort of understanding of what's actually going on here. Uh, looking forward, we have Page of Pentacles coming towards you, a possible outcome here. This is a new beginning um, in the 3D, something understanding something it's coming under this page of swords so this page of swords is all about the book learning uh this is about you know planning out the garden and this is the actual getting being able to actually get going on the garden getting and being able to actually start this thing this is you know the um getting your scuba diving passing the written test maybe on driving passing the written test and this is actually getting to get behind the wheel and drive off um, so, and learning, learning how to drive in the 3D, right? So, um, so that's where you, that's a possible new beginning where you're learning, you're able to apply what you learned, uh, in reality and apply these ideas, um, in reality to, to make something happen and make something grow. All right, Aquarius, I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, if, if for any other reason, just to acknowledge where you're at right now and that there's some difficulty here, but things are going to be moving forward. You're going to understand and get some clarity, some perspective and clarity this week and um, or whenever you, you watch this. Um, and then you're actually going to be able to apply it. Oh, my gosh. Balancing spirituality and practicality. Yes. <laughs> Here's the page of swords. Here's the page of pentacles. Spirituality, practicality, learning about something, being able to apply it. Getting an epiphany, a clarity, being able to apply that clarity. I really like that. Full moon in Pisces, you really brought this reading together. So um, balancing spirituality and practicality. Awesome. All right, Aquarius, have a great week.